inside religious communities, a lot of social bonds and a lot of social frameworks are built on the basis of this shared belief system. In other words, self-interest cannot always check self-interest and it tends to tear apart societies and communities unless there is an orienting goal. That orienting goal traditionally has been performed by church. It's been traditionally performed by the idea that you are serving God together. And because of that, people build these social bonds. Again, I think that the question of the utility here is one of whether you think that the chief danger is that people are going to believe in a God who tells them to kill in God's name, or whether you think that the chief danger is in man's own heart. I think it's all very well and good when this religious tradition is protecting what you think is good. But as we know, it can do the exact opposite, and it can do so with the same force. Sure. And I suppose the question we have to ask is whether this is a worthwhile trade-off. That is to say that there may be some social utility in putting our fundamental ethical assumptions outside of the realm of debate. But when those ethical statements begin to inspire what we would probably consider to be less than socially cohesive behavior, there is nothing you can do to talk people out of them, precisely because that's where they've placed them. And that seems dangerous to me.